All right, so where's the one place that solving inequalities is different? There's something extra you got to be careful about. Well, let me let me start off with the idea behind it. Which one of these is bigger? The two. It's amazing. If I divide or multiply by a negative, any negative, let's say negative one just to make it easy. If I divide or multiply by negative one, what's going to happen to both sides? That's going to become negative two, and that's going to become positive one. Which one's bigger now? The freaking one is. What the sign do when I multiply or divide by a negative, this inequality has to flip. Because when I multiply by a negative, I change the side of zero that the number is on. So therefore, all the relationships flip. Please let that make sense. So if I'm solving an equation like this, like what, I don't know. Sure. What do you do? You would divide by negative two. Divide by negative two. X. Less than or equal to negative 7. I like it. And let's just check it. If you put a negative 8 in, is that part of the answer? Well, let's, let's graph it first. Negative 7 just gets the chase here. There you go, Jeff. But what kind of circle on the negative 7? Uh, a oh, circle. Yeah. Or a bracket. That would be awesome. And then you shade which way? Yeah. I'm like, yeah, you guys write it that way. <laughs> so negative 8 would be an answer, right? That's an acceptable answer. How many answers are there to this? A lot. Infinite number. So a lot is true also. But they're all negative. So negative 2 times negative 8 is 16, which is bigger than 14. Now let me, let me freak you guys out a little bit. Let me show you. Don't even write this down. Don't even. The reason, another reason. So hopefully this is sufficient, a reason enough. Because x is just a number I don't know. So it will act like any other number would. So it's got to do this. But another way to think about this is, couldn't I do this instead? Couldn't I add 2x to this side? Don't even write this down. Just, just watch. Right? Right? Okay. I could. I, of course I could. Because I can add whatever the hell I could. not I add y to both sides? Hell yeah. Would you? No. <laughs> but could you? Yeah. As long as you do to both sides, it's completely legal. Uh, and then I can subtract 14. Divide by 2 so nothing weird happens, right? Mm -hmm. So what's it say now? Negative 7 is bigger than or equal to x. Is that cool? So another thing I want you to realize is just because there's a negative in there doesn't mean you flip the thing. What did you do? You divided by positive 2. No flipping. But now read it the other way. What's it say? If negative 7 is bigger than or equal to x, x is smaller than so why does a sign flip when it divide by negative? Because if I would have moved it to the other side, it would have it would have flipped to the other side of the sign. So it's like I either have to flip the sign or I flip the dude. So they have to both match. Both ways you do it have to match. That might have been too far, Jeff. Maybe. There's another reason why I flipped the sign, but this might be enough. That's purely by itself is enough reason why you flip the sign. All right, that's plenty. Bye, guy. Yeah, so that was section 2 6. Responsible. <laughs> <laughs>